Checking and configuring nutrients is probably the first thing a nutritionist should do during the first login. To do that, select Nutrients from the main menu and check the table. In the table, we can see all the nutrients with their code, abbreviation, name, description, group, unit, and different actions. Possible actions are edit, clone, clone to another plant, check history, or delete. Like in all other tabular views, we have add new, select mode in order to select more than one and apply different actions, a quick search, and advanced search. Quick search is finding different nutrients just by typing a name or a part of a name. For example, vitamin. And this way we can find all the vitamins. We can search by code, by abbreviation, name, a group, unit, or description in advanced search. When we open a nutrient, we see their code, abbreviation, name, description, group and unit, and values which can be changed here. Also, we can check all the changes applied to that nutrient and they will be listed here. Raw materials. To check and verify raw materials, please select raw materials from the main menu and in the table review, you can see all the raw material values. Here, we can see a code, name, description, price, if raw material is available or not, group, and actions. In addition, we can edit, clone, clone to another plant, history, or delete. We also have add new to add new raw materials button, the edit mode button, and the select mode button. Edit mode allows us to change prices fast just by typing in the table. Select mode allows us to select multiple raw materials and apply different actions. Like in other tabular reviews, we have a quick search and advanced search. In advanced search, we can search by code, name, available tag, group, and description. When a single raw material is open, by clicking the Edit button, we can see all the properties and nutrient composition. Here in the Nutrient Composition, we can see all the available nutrients in the database with their respective units and values. We can show all the nutrients or hide nutrients that do not have value or when values are zeros. For example, we can click on Show All and we can see some values that don't exist in the database or we can hide those zeros. We can check the history of a raw material by clicking on the History button and see all the changes listed with the username and the date of change. Here we can see raw material properties and nutrient composition. When we select a different date, we can see how that raw material looked like prior to that change. We can show historical values in the form of chart. For example, we can select price, click OK, and now we see the price history for the selected raw material. We can save that chart as an image. For every raw material and every nutrient, we can configure dependencies. Dependencies are formulas for automatic recalculation of one nutrient based on other nutrient or nutrients. For example, here we can see a very simple formula for lysine. We would like to create a formula that is not accurate from a nutritional side, but we would like to show how to create complex formulas. Let's say lysine is the crude protein. Add that nutrient plus 
3 plus, for example, we can add another nutrient, one more crude protein, one more ash, multiplied by ash, for example, divided by fat, and, for example, minus 35. This formula might look silly, but the purpose is to show how to create comprehensive formulas in the dependency calculator. After configuring the formula, we can click OK. And now we can see the sign saying that we have a dependency for lysine. If we change, for example, the crude protein, lysine is automatically recalculated. There are different actions for dependencies. We can clone a dependency from another raw material, or we can clone dependencies to a group. Cloning dependencies to a group is the way to push this newly created dependency to all the raw materials in the group that this raw material belongs to. In this case, if we click this button, clone dependency to a group, this formula for lysine will be applied to all the raw materials in the cereals group. Once we created this formula, it can be pulled from another. For example, dehulled oats, we click on lysine and say clone dependencies. Now it shows where dependencies for lysine exist. We have a formula in oats. Would you like to clone that? It's cloning and it appears and it has automatically recalculated. This way you can configure raw materials.